Welcome friends, family members, quilters, and most importantly, veterans all, to today's ceremony. I'm Dee Dee Salvatierra, and with me today are Bonnie Cunningham and Tony Garcia. We are members of the Western North Carolina Quilt Guild Blue Ridge Chapter of Quilts of Valor. We are very honored to be here for this special presentation today. The quilts of valor awarded today have been lovingly made to honor, comfort, and heal these U.S. Armed Services veterans touched by war. To give you a brief history of our Quilts of Valor Foundation, the Quilts of Valor Foundation is a national organization that was founded by Blue Star mother, Catherine Roberts in, of Seaford, Delaware. In 2003, while her son was deployed in Iraq, Catherine had the idea of comforting and welcoming home veterans touched by war with handmade quilts. She wanted to make sure that returning veterans were welcomed home with tangible reminders of appreciation and gratitude. We honor the core values of our organization, treating people with respect, promoting excellence, valuing service over self, and being accountable. To date, the total number of Quilts of Valor awarded has exceeded 254,000 quilts presented here in the U.S. as well as in Germany, Iraq, and Afghanistan. In the U.S. alone, there are over 600 groups like ours and many individual members making quilts to honor and comfort veterans. A quilt of valor is the highest civilian honor we can bestow on these veterans. We thank you for your service, your sacrifice, and your valor. You are not forgotten. We're doing something a little bit different today. One of our recipients is ill and was not able to attend today's ceremony. I talked to his wife last evening and um, we will make arrangements to get his quilt to him but we would like to read his story and show his quilt. So um, his name is Charles Burgess. Charles served in the Army, U.S. Army, 1957 to 1960. He was deployed to Germany during the Cold War as what were called peacekeepers. In his words, quote, we weren't shooting at anyone and no one was shooting at us, end quote. He served as a specialist fourth class, working with radar-guided air defense missile systems. This involved the launching of ground-to-target Nike missiles. He still gathers at reunions with members of his unit, except for this year because of COVID. His quilt was made by Army veteran Bonnie Hartel, who is not here today, and quilted by Rachel Drawn. It's sideways. The top is the other way. This is Charles's quilt. So, when he is <clears throat> when he is better and everybody has quarantined and done all that, we'll make arrangements to sure to present his quilt. Okay, our second recipient today is here, David John Gunther. David is a Navy veteran who served from March 1960 to 1964. He served as an electronic technician aboard the USS Hunley AS-31, as his cap says, <laughs> a submarine tender. He was stationed in Holy Lock, Scotland, and his duties included maintenance and repair of the INS inertial navigation systems aboard the Navy's nuclear-powered fleet of ballistic missile-carrying submarines known as SSBN, 
I learned a lot before I even met him. <laughs> These computerized systems provided location and positioning of a sub while it was navigating under the Arctic ice caps and its exact positioning prior to the launch of a Polaris missile. David maintained three different INS platforms and two navigation data assimilation computers, referred to as NAVDAC. A submarine tender is a ship that carries items such as food, fuel, torpedoes, missiles, and supplies that a submarine is too compact to carry for itself. The tender meets the submarines at sea to replenish these needed supplies or provide services while docked at a port near where the subs are operating. To quote David, the submarine tender isn't particularly sleek or fast. She's never fired a shot in anger. She spends most of her time in port. But what the tender lacks in glamour, she makes up for in importance. To the Polaris submarine fleet, one of the strongest deterrents to nuclear war. The tender's crew is well equipped and trained for the supply, service, and repair of the three different classes of nuclear ballistic subs at all at one time. Much the same as an aircraft carrier supplies support to aircraft and jets at sea, the tender is a support ship for submarines. It can supply the needs of the subs in its care over long periods of time. The tenders are manned with very experienced personnel and their many areas of expertise are invaluable to the boats that are in need of repairs and refitting. David's quilt was pieced by Tony Garcia, who's here today with us. She pieced it and she quilted it. It's beautiful. Isn't that something? And his wife, Gloria, will wrap it around him. Hooray! Yay! Are you ready with part two? You can take your mask down too. <laughs> I can? Yeah. Oh, We'd like to see your face. <laughs> <laughs> now we have a conclusion. For you, this quilt brings a three part message from our hearts. First, we honor you for your service. We honor you for leaving all that you hold dear to stay in and harm's way in the time of crisis, protecting us from the effects of war. Our, second, our quilters know that freedom is not free. The cost of freedom is the dedication of men, lives of men and women like you, and this quilt is meant to say thank you for your sacrifice. And third, this quilt is meant to offer comfort to you and for your ever in our thoughts and our hearts. In conclusion, each quilt of valor is formed by loving hands that join bits of fabric together one piece at a time. Quilters often work together in sewing groups to create these quilts. As we stitch, we talk about our families, our friends, and how grateful we are for those who will be receiving what we call our quilty hugs. When we wrap them in a quilt of valor, we believe that as we sew love, caring and gratitude flows from our hearts and through our hands and into these quilts that we make. All of us as quilters want you to know that through our quilts, you forever in our hearts, and thank you again for your service. I do this enough times, I'll have it memorized. I know.
Every story is so unique.